Hello everyone, I'm Brian Alden. I'm joined today by head women's basketball coach Chris Paul. And Chris, coming off an exhibition win against Goshen last week, uh, can you just give your thoughts about the exhibition, how it went, both the positive and the negative from the team? Well, Brian, this is the first time we've had an exhibition in a couple years. You know, we've, we've done scrimmages, closed scrimmages, but I felt like because we have a new group and a lot of new pieces that we needed to get out there and put the uniforms on and, and um, you know, play in front of people, the Jumbotron, and all, all the game-like activities. And I was pleased with what we accomplished. Uh, you know, I, I know it's a smaller school, but Goshen has some... Uh, has some talent. They have some players back, and, and we knew they were going to play hard. So um, I felt like we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. We saw some things that we did well. We see some things that we've got to work on, and that's what we've been working on, or that, those are the things we've been targeting this week to get ready for Illinois on Friday. What was one thing that really stood out from you on a, on a positive aspect that the team did in the, in the game? Well, a, a couple things. We had a, a lot of production from a lot of different people. I know people will see that, you know, Haley Seibert had 32 points. Um, she shoots the ball pretty well. But, but we had multiple players in double figures. We played, I think, 10, I could be wrong, 10 or 11 players, uh, 10 or more minutes. So we, we logged a lot of minutes from a lot of different people. Um, you know, Brett Green, who spent most of the year last year on the bench, worked really hard in the offseason, came out and showed some things that, that she's capable of doing. Uh, Kiana Gary did some nice things on the post. I thought our two seniors, even though the numbers, you know, people get caught up in numbers, I thought they played their role. You know, Hillary Moore set some really good screens and played some solid defense. Murr Hagerman, you know, talks people through and lets everybody know where they need to be. So, so overall, you know, Courtney Ogle, I don't want to forget Courtney because Courtney came off the bench and, you know, hit three threes and did a nice job. So, you know, overall, I feel like we got a contribution from a lot of different people. All right, and this weekend, the regular season actually opens up at Illinois, a Big Ten opponent. Uh, they just came off a scrim big scrimmage win as well. Uh, <laughs> Can you talk about what you've seen from the Illini and, and kind of what you expect from the game this weekend? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know what to expect because they've changed almost their entire starting lineup. They have two transfers, one from Missouri, one from Ball State. They had a junior college. They have some freshmen coming in. They had somebody that was redshirted last year. Now she's back. So, so they are completely different. You know, they had a big win in their exhibition against a smaller school. And it's really hard to tell. Whenever you beat somebody by 70, it's really hard to tell, you know, what's going on. Um, I do know they're going to start 6-3, 6-3. You know, so they have some size in there. And they're going to be excited because they have some new pieces and they feel like this is their year to maybe bounce back because they didn't have a real good year last year. So we know that they're going to come out. They just want a big exhibition. They're going to try to do the same thing to us. We've just got to make sure that we handle ourselves with composure that we did last year when we played Indiana, when we played Purdue, when we played Michigan State. You know, it's sort of been there, done that. So we just need to go in there, handle ourselves, and worry about ourselves more than worrying about playing Illinois. All right, Coach. And this weekend, Friday, 4 o'clock p.m., you can catch the game online. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.